Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our English class. Hello. Hello, hello. Guys, are you there? Hi. Hello, good evening. Hey, hello. Dennis, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Okay, guys, welcome. We have also Elena, Dennis, uh, Gisela, Claudia. Jocelyn is actually connected. Guys, welcome. Good morning, teacher. Hi. Hey, nice. Hey, Claudia, I like the background. It's like uh, you see some fish in the backside. Good. Beautiful fish. Yeah, it's a beautiful. <laughs> yeah. If you remember, one of our classmates uh, was at the beach yesterday. Se acuerdan que tenía un fondo de, de la playa. Hasta me dieron ganas de irme también a la playa. Dije yo, no. It's good, right? Ahora Claudia tiene ahí un fondo bien interesante. You can see a uh, fish. It's very creative. My fish teacher. Oh, nice. Yeah, fish. You can see fish there. Okay, so welcome to our English class. It's actually a great chance for me to be here. Uh, also, I'm really sorry for this schedule. I know that for you is very late, but I really recognize your incredible effort that you have made in this in this place here. Entonces, este, yo les, pues, les agradezco ahí ese espacio. Y pues, estamos listos ya para aprender. Ready to study English. Ready to learn. Are you ready? Hello? Ready, teacher. Excellent. Okay, the question that I have for you guys is what we studied yesterday. Hay mucho que decir. We have a lot of things to say today in the class. So tell me about it. What do you remember? ¿Qué estudiamos? ¿Quién se acuerda por ahí? Who remembers that? Hello. Uh, adjectives, comparative y superlative. And superlatives, right? Superlative. Uh, superlatives and comparatives. That's good. Okay, before, because it's actually is getting interesting, this part, I just want to ask you. Um, what do you remember? How can I make... How can I make a sentence or, well, how can I transfer an adjective from normal adjective to comparative? How can I make it compar comparative? ¿Cómo puedo hacer comparativo un, un adjetivo? We make a comparative adjective to um, have E-S-T. Uh -huh. uh, for uh, I mean, uh, for comparative, para hacerlo comparativo, ¿cómo sería? We need to have uh, EST. Uh, para superlativo, pero for comparative? Uh, depends with the, with the adjective. See, if the adjective uh, has one syllable, is it, is it tiene una sílaba? One syllable, we only have. E A D E D. Um, in this case, is E R. Es E R. Ajá. Acuérdense que cuando el adjetivo es pequeño, eh, le vamos a agregar E R, verdad? Para hacerlo comparativo. E R, like uh, taller, faster, crazier, and shorter, easier. So we can see that. So that's what we call. And um, ¿cómo puedo hacer cuando el adjetivo, when the adjective has more than two syllables? Y si el adjetivo tiene más de dos sílabas, what happens? We add more. Ah, okay. For example, if I say beautiful, how this would be? More beautiful. Ah, okay. Uh, intelligent? More intelligent. That's cool. Yeah, that's very interesting. Okay, so this is something interesting. All right, so today we will have a short backup related to this exercise. So I think it's not going to be so difficult for you because we are going to be working on this part. Okay, look at this um, short exercise here using comparison. As we said, when the adjectives are small, contains one, one uh, syllable, we had to add, in this case, ER at the end of the adjective. Okay, look at this one. 
Okay, look at this part. And I will give you one minute to check the adjectives and also try to complete it using the appropriate form. So take this time to do it. And when I say stop, we will compare it also the way you have written this exercise. Okay, complete it. Are you ready? Are you ready, students? Yes, teacher. Are you ready, students? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. I, I, okay, perfect. I was actually waiting that. So let's see what happened with the following exercise. I will use the chat so you can help me to um, compare here in the first part. And vamos a ir comparando en el chat. Por ejemplo, aquí los escribo el primero. We have the first one. Who wants to help me to complete this part? The number one, volunteer. Uh, with double G or one G? We double, double G. G. Ah, double G. Okay, good. Number two. Next. Smaller. A smaller, right? Next. Next. Next, next. Faster. I think it's fatter. 
Ah, cool. And also I like the pronunciation in that case is water. It's double T or just one T? I think double it's T. double T. Okay, double T because of the rule, right? Remember that if the adjective contains a consonant plus vowel plus consonant, we had to add an extra consonant that ends the word. In that case, ends in T, so we had to add ER. That's the case we say fatter. That's good. And look at look at the next one. The next one. Hainer. Is sorry. Hainer. Oh, uh, thinner, thinner. Yes, huh? the, the pronunciation is thin. Do you know what thin means in Spanish? Delgado. Exactly. So that's thin. It's a person that is not fat. It's a little, a kind of a slim, so we can say uh, thin. Also, double N or just one N? Double N. That's perfect. So in that case, that will be double N. This adjective in particular, and you had to add double N in this case, like the ones that I'm showing here, it's like thinner. You can see the example in this part. And also, what about the next one? Up here. Okay, look at that. Happier. Um, do we have to eliminate Y or not? Yes, eliminate Y. Okay, so check that part. So we say happier. Next. Next, next. Sadder. Sadder. Um, so in that case, is double D or one D? Double D. Double D because the, the rule says consonant, vowel, consonant. So we had to add extra letter. In that case, is D plus ER who we'll says sadder. And we we'll say in English that row is harder than zoo. Next one. Help me with the next word. Yes? Better. Exactly. So it's an irregular adjective. Yeah, it's, it's an irregular adjective. And look at the last one. Grown. Words. Hello? Grown words. Worst. Yes, worse. That's correct. In this case, we use the, the word worse here in this case. Look at that. So because this is considered an irregular adjective, so we don't have to use ER, we don't have to use other structures because it's different right in foreign. And we also, we see that further in superlatives that it changes to. Okay, guys, congratulations. Actually, it's pretty easy. I think it's, it's actually something that we had to work. And the last exercise related to a comparative. So we'll take um, you know, a faster time to complete this part. Okay, um, help me to answer this one. It's also related to the comparative form. I will give you also a couple of minutes to check that one. And then we will compare the answers together right here in the class. Let's go.
Ready. Let's go. Look at this one. Okay, look at the first one. And Alan, what's the possible answer for this one? Alan is taller than Libya. It's taller, right? Yes, so we also can see that in the, ch in the chat. Next one. Older. Older, excellent. That's right. What about short? Shoulder. Shorter. Shorter. Yes, it's shorter. That's correct. What about heavy? Heavier. Heavier. Okay. Okay. Next. What about next? Younger. Younger. Next. Next. More intelligent. More intelligent. Okay, that's that's perfect. And the next one. More beautiful. More beautiful. More beautiful too. Yeah, it's a, a very basic opportunity. What about the next one? Hotter. Hotter. Yes. Next. Bigger. 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 And the last one. Easier. Easier. Easier, right? And we have completed the comparative form. As you know, it's pretty easy and also pretty simple too. We are going to and uh, go on to the next exercise. In that case, it's going to be a little bit different because we will be studying the use of superlatives. It says complete the sentences and use the superlative form of the adjectives and brackets. For example, we have tall, good, cold, dangerous, happy, nice, big, and famous. What I want you to do is to take a short time to complete this statement using the superlatives. Como sabemos, para los superlatives, usted les tiene que agregar EST. Y si el adjetivo tiene más de dos sílabas, usted pues le va a agregar the most. Y tiene que verificar siempre las reglas, si termina en Y, si tiene vocal consonante, eh, vo consonante, vocal consonante. Y pues vemos ahí. Elena, yes. Tengo una consulta con los adjetivos irregulares. Uh, tell me. Estos, ¿por qué cuando cambian y son de dos sílabas, por qué no se les agrega el more? Eh, por ejemplo, eh, cuando usted dice bad. As, oh, no, de dos, bueno, words es de dos sílabas ya. Ajá. Lo, ¿Por qué en ese entonces ya no se le pone el more? Eh, lo que sucede es de que como es un adjetivo irregular, como la palabra lo dice, Cuando es irregular significa de que este adjetivo no sigue las mismas reglas que la estructura de los adjetivos en general. Entonces, por ejemplo, eh, good, por ejemplo, good. Eh, alguien puede decir, teacher, y si le ponemos gooder, es eh, decir, no existe, sino que ya es, ya las reglas gramaticales establecen de que es irregular y la forma eh, comparativo se escribe totalmente diferente a la forma natural. Entonces, por eso son considerados irregulares, porque es muy distinto a las reglas generales de los adjetivos. Ok, muchas gracias. You're welcome. All right, you're welcome with that. Ok, uh, take a time and also complete this part, and then you will help me to um, socialize the answers together here. Let's go.
Are you ready? Ready, teacher. Oh my God, that's great. So let's start. And uh, well, look at this one. Let's see here with the first one. And well, so we're going to use the chat. Okay, who wants to help me to read the statement number one? Toles. Oh, read the complete sentence, please. Hello? Who is the, is tall the tallest person in your family? Okay, person in your family. Okay, nice. And look at the possible answer in this side here, okay? Um, number two, volunteer. My mom is the best cook in the world. Fantastic. That's good, Marco. Okay, it's the best. Number three. December is the coldest month of the years in my country. It's the coldest, right? Okay, number four. Okay, what what the most dangerous animal in the world? Okay, the most because it's um kind of superlatives, more more syllables. Okay, next. <laughs> Next. It is written. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, Ethan is the happiest boy that I know. Okay. Yes. Next. 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 Hello. Next. Ball. Where are the Where are the nicest beaches in the in your country? In your country, definitely that it's very interesting. That okay, cool. That is the nicest. And let's see the next part of this one. Next number seven. She bought the bigger cake in the shop. No, the biggest. Biggest. Yes, it, that's the biggest. And the last one. Sorry, sorry. Um, sorry, just I just removed this. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I will go back. Okay, is this one. Okay, um, the last one. Sorry, that was we're saying the biggest and the last one is the most famous singer in your country that's okay Rebecca that's the Who most famous the most famous singer in your country in your country that's correct so in that case you can see here the possible examples of these exercise here so let's go with the next one Look at the next one. So let me show you here. What we had to do is that we are gonna try to complete this statement. Super adjectives. Look at that. Oh, Mr. Brown is a tutor in our university and also we have experienced. Pupils should be paid more attention and goes a good film we've ever seen that is Enter the Dragon. In parentheses, we have interesting. Um, it was Chris who wrote compositions, and also we have brilliant. Number five, spring is season of the year, and we have pleasant. Number six, Tom, Tom's room is, and also we have clean. All of Polish writers, Zinski is one, and also great. Jimmy's pupil in class, and also we have difficult. Jim is and also pupil in my class. Oh, we have difficult. Anne is a student in your group. Heartbreaking. Number 10, James is a person in office, open minded. Egypt is one of the uh, countries in the world, old. Canada is the second country in the world, large. Helen is a girl I met, I ever met, and kind hearted. Kind hearted. 
and that was a mistake and also we have stupid weight. Okay, so complete this, these um, exercises and then when we come back, we'll check that one. So if you're ready, please say teacher, I'm ready. Almost ready?
almost ready? Ready. Ready, to. Ready. Okay. Excellent. So let's compare the answers right now. So look at the first one. What could be the possible answers about this one? Volunteering. I think it's Mr. Brown is the most experienced tutor in our university. Yeah, in our university. Yeah, in this case, yes, the most experienced tutor. That's correct. Great job. So look at the next one. Uh, what about the number two? Number two. Oh, come or read the sentence. Oh, sorry. On mute. The vets' pupils should be paid more attention. Uh, should. 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 Sure. Yes, great job. Thank you. Number three, what about this one? It's interesting. Film we've, we've have ever seen is Enter the Dragon. Uh, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Uh, the more interesting mm. film, uh, more interesting. And uh, superlative. Ah, most, most interesting film we have ever seen is Enter the Dragon. Okay, thank you. So in this case, the most interesting, right? Because we are showing that there is no comparison between others. Excellent. And also number four, Next. It was Chris who wrote the most brilliant composition. And composition. Uh, composition. Composition. Yes, that's right. And next, volunteer. The next volunteer. Hello, hello. Number five Who wants to help me. Hello. It's the most pleasant. It's spring is the most pleasant season of the year. So we can see that. And next, we check the next one. Check the next one. Yes. Oh, guys. Well, uh, just give me one second, please, because I need to uh, add the charger because my laptop, you know, wants to inspire it. Uh, one second, please.
Okay, let's see here. Well, we have the most pleasant. And what about the number six? What is the number six? So we can see. The most. The most. Yeah. Mm, Teacher, is... sorry. Yes? <laughs> Estaba pensando sola. Ah, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. In that case, is the cleanest, right? The cleanest. Because of the time, because we need to check some things. And we have the cleanest. Number seven. What do you have for number seven? Number seven, volunteer. Is the greatest. The greatest. Yeah, so we have the greatest. Great job. So look at the next one, number eight. The most difficult. The most difficult. The most difficult. That's correct. And the number nine. What do you have for a number nine? The best. The number nine? Yes. What is that? And is and the best hardworking student in our group. Number nine. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. The most hardworking. Okay. Yeah, the most hardworking student. The most hardworking. Okay. That's correct. ING. And also we have the number 10. The most open mind. Open? The most open, open mind. And you say open minded. 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 The most open mind minded. And then number 11. Oldest. oldest. The oldest. That's right. Number 12. Largest, the largest. Okay, that's correct. We have the largest, and the next one that is Helen is the most kind, the most kind, uh, kind hearted. Say it with me, kind hearted, kind hearted. Kind -hearted. Kind -hearted. Yes, that's the pronunciation, that's kind hearted. Kind-hearted. Yes. Mistake. Okay. Kind That's kind. actually good. And the last one. That's good. Stupid. The stupid list. Mm. What is the what is that one? The number 14. The most. In this case, is stupid is not considered as more than two syllables. The stupidest. Uh huh. Yes, it's the superlative. Look at that, because you know this the stupider. Well, for example, the comparative, the stupider is the comparative form of the adjective, because the stupid is two syllable word. It's comparative form and can be created either by adding the suffix like er or in this case in that way. So we can see that stupidest. Okay, so let's check the attendant list and we will have a conversation. We will have a, a, a conversation to practice and then we will conclude the class. So if you allow me one moment, please. I'm going to check right here the attendant list and also as you know that using the comparatives is very, very important, you know, also because we are using um, in real conversations, the way how we can, you know, talk about the structures. Let me check the attendance list. You listen your name and you say present. One second, please, please. We are about to work in this one. Ada Agar Burgos. Present. Nice. Eh, Blanca Elena Melara. Present. Uh, Christian Salatier Molina. Thank you. Claudia Lisette Velázquez. 
Present the teacher. Present. Okay. Thank you, De uh, David. Roberto Aquino. Present, 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 present. Thank you. Denis Francisco Alvarado. Present. Eh, Denis y David, ok. Elena Gabriela Joven. Present. Present teacher. Ok, okay. Esmeralda. Isabel. Present teacher. Thank you. Gis Gisela Emperatriz Cañas. Present. Héctor Iván Pérez. Present teacher. En Jocelyn Stephanie Mejía. Jocelyn. Eh, Kenia Vanessa Corbera. Present teacher. Thank you. Marco Antonio Quijano. Marco Antonio. Present. Present. Okay. Maria Elena Flores. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Oscar Antonio Ramos. Oscar, um, Rebecca Jonel Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Vanessa Gabriel Hernandez. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Xiomara Elizabeth Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jessica Esmeralda Martinez. Jessica. Eh, Jocelyn Elizabeth González. Present. Okay, thank you. Well, let's go to the last part of the class. And also, I just want to, you know, congratulate you guys because you have made an incredible and incredible effort to be here at this time. Definitely that I'm in doubt with you guys because you know that this time, all of us, we had to wake up early to, to work. For example, I, I wake up around 4 like 4.20 a.m. because I had to go to work very early. So I sleep a couple of hours just time. But, you know, that's a job. So we had to work so hard. And also, ah, Jessica Esmeralda Martinez. So she has written. Uh, Esmeralda Martinez, Martinez. Oh, let me check here. I'm not checking the attendance. Yo soy Esmeralda, pero Esmeralda Isabel. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eh, ¿Su apellido? Martínez también. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Let me check. Ah, yes. Yes, you are here. Ah, sí, aquí está, aquí está. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay, well, let's go to, with the last part of the conversation. So, thank you for the effort. I know that you are, you are doing a great job and also your English level will be very, very amazing. So, we have to uh, conclude this class with that conversation that we will work in some breakout rooms. So for this, this conversation is about distances and measurements. And for this, what I want you to do is to work in some short breakup rooms. And also, and look at this, look at this, look at this. Okay. ¿Cuál va a ser el, el reto de esta, de esta conversation? Siempre tratar de enfocarnos en el acento. Nuestro acento tiene que sonar súper bonito, sonar así bien. Eh, un estilo bastante bonito. Así que lo vamos a practicar. Um, we also will record it too through WhatsApp so we can, we can do that. So get ready for that part. Vamos a ver. Y pues con este, we finished the class. Vamos a ver. Lo vamos a compartir en este momento. Y iniciamos ahora. I'm going to Australia next year. Are you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 3, meters high. Um, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland in Auckland. It's about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Okay, I'm sending you right now the audio about this conversation. And also what I want you to do is to have a, like five minutes to practice this conversation. And let's try it again. It says, I'm going to, I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what it's like there. 
oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Man's Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Muy bien, vamos a practicar in this conversation to practice and then we conclude the class. So, vamos a hacer the last chance to do that. Así que vamos a formar los breaker rooms, practicamos, and then we say good night to all of you. Así que podemos, vamos a iniciar ahora. Así que be ready, guys. Open. <laughs> 2,800. 3,000. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's coach. Coach, I have a question. Hi. 3,000. Uh, uh, I don't know how do you say 3,800. Uh, 3,000. 3,000. 800. 2,800. Okay. Then, yeah, 3,800. 800. Okay. It is about 3,800 yes. meters high. Yes, meters high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Howland, and Howland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit the journey next year too. Okay. Ahora, Ada Agar. Hello, Ada. Good evening. Hello, good evening. I am Scott. Si gusta, practica going... con la compañera y luego eh, va conmigo, no hay problema. Okay, I am going to Australia next year. Are you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I am from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. So what is it like there? Oh, it is beautiful. It has a lot of fire and it is very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook is about 3,000 and... I know it's a morbido. 
<laughs> Era... 3,000 million? No, I'm sorry. 3,080... 800? 100, uh-huh. Okay. It is about... 3,000 and, 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 I know, ciento se volvió. 800. 800. 800. Meter high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Howland and from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. <laughs> okay. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I am from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has a lot of farms and it's every mountain. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Um, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I shall visit you next year, too. Ya hablamos inglés, compañero. En medio se nos lengua la traba. Entonces, ¿qué quiere decir eso? A usted le toca. A mí va. A usted David, sí. I'm going to Australia next year. Are you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So, what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It's a lot of farm and at its very mountains. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, I highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Mm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I shall visit to next year's too. Excellent. Okay, <laughs> See. I'm, I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Bill? Actually, I'm... Dele, dele <laughs> Actually, I'm from New, New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is like there? Oh, it's beautiful. And it has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Hood. It's about 3,800 meters high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should be seen to next year too. Ay. Yo hasta ¿Qué la le pasó? Es que ayer me quedé de la cama y me, me golpeé el codo. No, hombre, no se tire de la cama. Ve, ya regresamos. Sí, no,
Okay, students, we are about to finish. And also, thank you so much to everybody for staying with us until the last time. I know that is a valuable experience for all of us to have practice here. And also, we hope to see you tomorrow ready to practice and maximize your English skills. I really love to listen to all of you participating actively in this conversation and also focusing in the grammar and the pronunciation in the way you can produce the language. So uh, this is very pleasant for all of you guys. So thanks a lot and have a beautiful night to all of you and enjoy your night. Good luck. Gracias, teacher. Thank Gracias. you, teacher. Good night. Nice. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Tomorrow. You too. See you Thank tomorrow. you so See you much. Tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good night. Great job to everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.